Okay, we have a Santa Compact that came out of a rental and it's binding up. So we're going to open up the macerator and uh, look inside where the, the uh, blade is. Just looking inside the hole right now, I'm seeing something in there. But I'm going to take this apart and we'll see what's in there together. I'm going to pause this while I put this on the stand. Okay. I've turned everything around, put it on a cheap little Chinese tripod, so we'll see how that holds up. And let's start. There is water in this unit, so it's probably going to flow out a little bit. But let's get started. I don't talk a lot while I'm doing this part, so you didn't lose sound, I just didn't talk. Okay, all the screws are out, and I kind of feel like I want to keep this elevated a bit. Let me see if I can find something to do that. Okay, so looks like there's something in there. Something, some kind of rag. And I'm not sure if you can see in there, but it is all over in there. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, let's see what we can do. Underneath it and everything. Now this rag this rag is definitely the reason this is not paper as far as I can tell it looks very fibrous so if this is some kind of a Tiny wipe or something like that, it can't go down these toilets. Just paper. But this does not look like a Heine wipe. This looks like a rag, a cloth rag. So I'm going to shut off the video now because I've got a lot more fun to do trying to get this underneath, from underneath it. So, there you go. Just a quick update for you. Took me a while, didn't have all the right tools, but I got this off. And underneath is all this stuff that's caught up. It's all fiber from a rag. So I'll keep working on it, get all the fibers out, because if I don't, it's gonna bind it up and put this Santa Compact back in service. That even looks like a little piece of plastic. Okay, that's it. Just a quick update. Inside here is a cage, and this is just full of little fibers from the rag. You may not be able to see them in the video. I've been taking them out for quite some time, and I finally figured out it might be easier to do that if I took the cage out. So they're just held in by little clips, so to speak, that are built into the housing. And we've got fibers all over the place. This blade tried to do its best to get it all cut up, but it just couldn't. I spent 20 minutes just cleaning out underneath the spindle. It was bound up there like you wouldn't believe. So, don't put rags down a sandy compact toilet.